A new exhibition of black and white works by legendary artist Alex Katz is now on view at Tampa Museum of Art. And here with the details, Joanna Robotham, curator of modern and contemporary art. Good morning, Joanna. How morning. are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's wonderful to be back. I'll say, well, we love having you and we love talking about what the museum is up to. And right now in the middle of a new exhibition, let's talk about the works about Alex because again, I was reading He's kind of a precursor to pop art if people aren't aware of who this artist is. It's true. Alex Katz is a wonderful artist who's had a very long, successful career, and I'm so thrilled that we were able to bring this show to Tampa. He has been working since the mid-50s and is incredibly prolific. Um, he's turning 90 this year, so Aww. we're pretty pleased to show a broad range of his work from early to the 1950s up to the present. So what is it about his work that you see the similarities in pop culture? What do we see and notice about that that's kind of what we see in today's art? He's always been very interested in cinema and photographs and um, just pop culture in general. So when you look at a lot of his portraits in particular, you'll notice that some of the cropping is very similar to cropping you might see in films. This is a work that's in our show titled Christine. And what I love about this work is, while Alex Katz is primarily known for his very vibrant and bright color works, the black and white, such as this portrait, shows a different look at his career, and it just seems like a very classical image to me. I was gonna say, now, we're, we're seeing the black and white now. Are there more of the black and white in the exhibit, or what can people expect when they do go and visit you? When they go to the show, they'll see mostly black and white prints of Alex's work, but I've included a selection of color works just to show people his process a bit. He's a very interesting artist in that he often starts with a color painting and moves outward, and black and white for him is the final image. So it's basically the, you know, the last, um, image that he'll make when he stops a uh, series. So I was gonna say, wait a second, he starts with color and then ends up in black and white. That's kind of like opposite of what you would normally think, right? It is, but it's very interesting. By the time he gets to black and white, he's really pared down the image. So a lot of what you see is more of his focus on the contrast between light and shadow and an extreme emphasis on line and form. And I was gonna say, one of the things you pointed out already was the size to film. I mean, he's known for some of his large works and the mm -hmm. unique sizes to it. And usually I feel like we're not talking about that when we discussed artists. Exactly, he's, he's very known for doing these very large scale environmental paintings where he likes the viewer to feel like they're wrapped around the painting in a sense. You'll see a couple of those in our exhibition, but the black and white works I feel like are more intimate. So you'll get a better sense of his process. I'm curious, you know, you always kind of come away with a, a different vibe or a different feeling or a different emotion, if you will. Mm -hmm. What emotion, what vibes do you come away with if, as you walk through the exhibit and kind of exit for the day, if you will? What I love about the work is that it feels very honest and refreshing. You look at it and you see works of people that he admires or people that he um, spends a lot of time with. For example, you'll see a number of um, pictures of his wife, Ada. I was gonna bring that up, actually. Yes, who's his muse. So he's painted her over 200 times, and even in our exhibition, I would say there are about 10 or 12 prints of Ada. I wondered if we were gonna see any of those because it was like he does the environmental thing, but then does focus on his wife as well, so it sounds mm -hmm. like you've got a good combination. We do, there's a nice mix of landscapes and portraits, um, pictures of friends and family, even an old photo, old print of their family dog, Sunny. Oh, nice. So it's very, it's a great show. Well, it's a great show, and you also have a great event coming up this weekend as well. We want to make sure and, and end on. Will you please tell us about that? We do. This Saturday, we have our Isthmian Games. It's an annual family day where we focus on our permanent exhibition, The Classical World. So all the activities are based on or influenced by our antiquities collection. So there are a number of art projects and musics associated with the antiquities. So it's, it's a fun event. We look forward to it every year. Well, Joanna, we look forward to having you on our show. Please come thank back you. and visit us I soon. will, of course. We enjoy it, and uh, thank you again. For more information, you can always check out our website, tvmorningblend.com. We'll be right back.